Hello YouTubers, it's Uncle Penn's Garage again. We are working on the 2002 Triumph TT600. Love this bike. For me, it's got a lot of gadgets and gizmos. It's old for most people, but I like it. Um, it's one I've always wanted. Doing one project at a time on it, labeling hoses, changing vacuum hoses, uh, cleaning things, connections, and making sure uh, stators work, rectifiers, regulators work. But as uh, today's video, we are going to test the regulator rectifier. Here it is over here on the left side of the bike, underneath the seat. There's the plug. We're going to test it, see what numbers we get. We're not going to say if it's good or bad. We're just going to read the numbers and then check the manual. Stay tuned. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to check the regulator rectifier first using a multimeter with no power to the motorcycle, everything's disconnected, and we're just going to connect the terminals and see what we get on the multimeter. So we're going to put our leads as so. We're going to turn our switch to diode check, and then we're going to start with forward bias. Forward bias is we're going to take the negative and connect it to the positive on the rectifier. Then we're going to touch the positive on each of the diodes, and then we're going to notice the number. First one is 537. Second one is 525. Third one is 541, 541, 542. And so that's how you test the forward bias, uh, also positive bias, some people call it. So then you want to test the negative. So you put the positive to the negative side on the plug, which is right over here. And then you check the diodes again to see what they are with the negative lead. And they're all pretty close. Let's have to see what these numbers means, but I'm just showing you how to do it. And that's how you check the rectifier regulator. And you have to interpret the numbers according to your manual.